Hello everybody and um, happy Friday and happy Christmas. Uh, this is our last jam session before the Christmas holiday break. So it's lovely to be here today. Um, and there's only a few more days. You can see how much my advent calendar has gone on today. Um, not long to go. And um, today I'm going to read to you um, a story called The Fox's Tale, which is another one of those animal tales by Mick Inkpen. Um, and I'm just going to read it now. Hello, I'm a fox. I live out on the hills. I sleep by day and hunt by night. If you're lucky, you might see me on a hilltop against the moon. But don't blink or I'll be gone. Here's my story. It'll make your tail bristle. Listen. Two nights ago, I'm up on the hill near the town. The night is cold and clear. I lift my head and sniff the air. The scent of sheep is everywhere. There's another smell. It halts me in my tracks. The shepherd's out. By my nose, more than one. That means the sheep are lambing. I skirt around the hill, then wait a while and listen. Somewhere up ahead, a lamb is calling to its mother. Crouching low and keeping to the bushes, I follow. Now I can see it, clearly sitting in the long grass. A speckled lamb, not one week old. Suddenly, a blinding flash sends me running to the bushes. Shaking to my toes and blinking in the light, I freeze. Across the hill, a golden glow has fallen. And coming from the sky... The sound of singing. All at once the air is filled with shining men. I'm scared. I, I cannot smell these men. They have no scent. One of them is speaking to the shepherds. Don't be afraid, he says. We bring good news. Great joy has come to all of you. Today in Bethlehem a baby has been born. He is your promised king, your saviour. You'll find him lying in a cattle trough. Quickly, run and see. Suddenly, the shining men are gone. The sound of singing dies away. The shepherds stare at one another. Then, all at once, they start to talk. <laughs> they laugh and they shout. They jump and clap their hands. Then... Off they run towards the town to find the baby king. I follow on behind. I am wary of the town. It's full of sounds and smells I do not know. But I would like to see this baby king. Keeping to the shadows, I watch the shepherds disappear inside a stable. Behind the stable is a high fence. Without a sound, I'm up and over it. My luck is in. There is light streaming through a crack in the back wall. From here, I can see everything. Inside are cows and sheep and goats. It's odd. They know I'm here, but they are not afraid. There are people too. A woman and a man. And by the door, the shepherds. All of them are looking at a cattle trough lit by a lantern. And there, just as the shining men said, a newborn baby sleeps. A king in a cattle shed. His mother smiles and tells the shepherds to come in. Quietly they stand and watch. The baby murmurs in his sleep. His name is Jesus, says the woman softly. One of the shepherds takes something from his cloak. It is the speckled lamb, a present for the baby. He gives it to the woman, then bends close to see the baby's face. The shepherd's smiling face glows in the light, just like the shining men. He has seen a king, and so have I. Not many shepherds or foxes can say that. The shepherds whisper their goodbyes and leave. My belly tells me that I too must be making tracks. It is a harsh winter and life is hard for a fox. And do you 
Do, little king, it seems. I wish you well. I hope the lamb will keep you warm. Sweet dreams. That was the end. A different version of the Christmas story. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the Christmas trail. If you haven't had a chance to do that yet, there is still time. It's going to still be available until Sunday afternoon. Uh, well, Sunday evening, maybe we'll take the posters down. So if um, you want to still go out and do that, you can still join in that. Um, and if you email me with your answers, I will send you a certificate um, to say well done. Um, and all that's left for me to say is have a fantastic Christmas and New Year, however you choose to celebrate. Um, and look forward to seeing you all again in January. Bye.